um, Mr. Medicur did a stream and it was probably uh, his best stream in years at this point. He doesn't stream very often, but he really, he had like everything prepared. It was like a proper like beat down of Ralph. It, like I've talked about Ralph for a very long time and it was, it was kind of, it was kind of like a retrospective of things that I've already knew about. But when you, I haven't, I like, I hadn't seen the, the May clip where she's getting, like, he's threatening to murder her. <laughs> I hadn't heard that in a long time. Uh, and I forgot about how bad, like, I knew that he had that clip where he yelled at his mom trying to get a ride to dialysis. And he's like, it's not even hot outside. Like, I, I remember that, but I, um, I forgot how bad they were. Like, I forgot that Ralph told um, his mom to eat a dick and called her a cocksucker, I think. And then I forgot that he literally, like, threatened to kill May and put hands on her. Um, so it was interesting to watch all that in retrospect, and, and I thought it was a good stream. Though I cut it off when he got to Super Chats and started talking about fucking Pippa Pipkins again. Uh, that is your Medicare update. Now... Allow me to explain. This requires, this actually does require a little bit of explanation because I've never, I don't think I've ever mentioned this person on stream before. Uh, this guy, and I didn't even know about this. I only happened to watch it um, to see it because PPP was talking about it, but I, I thought it was interesting enough to, to do research into. Um, and the reason why I didn't see this is because I intentionally went out of my way to avoid it. This guy is called Jesse... P.S. He is, I, I, I say this and I, I hope I'm not being too mean because I don't know too much about him, but in my head, he's kind of compartmentalized in the Kinoche category of like, um, ruthless self aggrandizers who just want to like profit and enrich themselves off of internet drama and everything that they are involved in is less funny and less organic and less interesting as a result. Um, oh yeah, I did. I, I mean, I'm sure I've shot on him before. I just can't remember the last time I ever spoke about him. So that's why I'm kind of recapping it. He, his podcast is like paywalled or something. So he constantly tries to get involved in drama to get people to pay money to watch his streams where he talks about the drama that he creates. So it's not interesting. And I, I kind of despise him, you know, uh, though I, I, I first knew about him because Dick complained about him um he is dick masterson's top a log and he kind of got into like the drama shit because of of dick masterson entering the sector so that's how he got like converged into it um and he's sick right now he's sick and he can't do his streams so he thought you know i will both promote myself and allow other people to promote themselves by guest hosting um, my my podcast. So he invites Ethan Ralph, or rather, according to him, Ethan Ralph literally begged to to host his stream. Now I don't know if that's true because the the fucker lies, but uh, I can't believe it. Uh, Ralph apparently told him that it would be a big thing for him if he was allowed to uh, host Jesse's uh, podcast while he's sick. And uh, it went terribly. I think in Jesse's mind, he probably hoped that Ralph would show up like completely pilled and fucked up and like start screaming at people. Because I think one of the conditions that Jesse had for him showing up on the podcast was that he would take calls. And instead, Ralph basically played clips for several hours um, and then only took calls in the last bit when Jesse like forced him to. Um, because it, even Jesse told him that you can accept money. Like if you want to do a thing where people have to super chat to like, you know, get on and talk, that's fine. You can charge people money for it, but I just want to have call-ins and Ralph knew that people would pay money like $5 to get onto discord and yell at him and call him a fat faggot. Right. Um, so he didn't want to do it because he didn't want to be embarrassed, especially after the gym thing just happened. And as a result, Jesse literally had to apologize to his audience for how shit Ralph was. And I have these time stamped actually, so sit right about here. Hey, no, because you don't want me to finish my point. You don't want me to finish my point. My point is, is that he's listening. If you don't know, he's playing a clip of Brian Dunn 
the king of pole, one of the most like talking about Jesse is kind of like, okay, let's give some background on who Jesse is so that people know what the fuck I'm talking about at all. But now I'm, I'm having to like, there's like a um, inception foghorn sound because now I have to explain who the fuck Brian Dunn is. Brian Dunn's a loser faggot. I hope we're all clear now. Uh, and for whatever reason, Ralph has decided to play a loser faggot roasting him on somebody else's stream who none of these people know who the fuck Brian Dunn is. Let's say you're an impressionable child, which is his vast majority of the people who watch him are teenagers, just like they watch Augie, Augie RFC and most of those guys that came from his sphere of the side of the internet. They come out, they have the same manners, mannerisms, they have the same belief systems, they have the same promotion of the same values. They're completely fucking warped. They here. don't make don't any sense you, to have... Let me finish my point. My point is, is that let's say you're an impressionable child, which is his vast majority of the people who watch him are teenagers, just like they watch Augie, Augie RFC and most of those guys that came from his sphere of the side of the internet. They come out, they have the same manners, mannerisms, they have the same belief systems, they have the same promotion of the same values. They're finish my point my point is is that let's say you're an impressive okay child, i gotta break in here i don't know what's going on just like I, watch ethan told blogs. me this was a great opportunity for him he told me that this was going to be you know he really appreciated i don't want to just sit here and read our dms i'm sick as a dog by the way that's why i'm having guest hosts fill in so i want to apologize right now i don't know what the fuck this is even ralph is a greater showman than what you're getting right now. He told me he wanted to do an AMA. So I'm not sure what's going on. I told him before, you can take super chats on your own channel. You can restream your own shit. You can make money off of this. And I want to be clear. I definitely told him like that. There was no point where I didn't say like, Hey, you want to get paid for this? Sure. People are going to send in super chats. You want to get paid for that? That's not a problem. Money's not a problem for Pod Awful. This isn't Nightwave. So I don't know what's going on here, but I've just watched over 100 people drop out of this shit show of a stream. And we've got some good people coming up to guest host. I hope to fucking God that they take this opportunity to do something. Fu I, I mean, can you imagine being given the keys to the castle and this is what you give? Ethan can do better than this. I don't know what's going on. I'm talking to him behind the scenes. I'm begging him. Take calls. I'll give you money. Take calls. Read super chats. He won't do it. So I don't know if this is, has this all been a trick and I have been trolled? No. I, I can assure you that's not the case because the messages I've been getting from Ethan about this. I mean, he said he needed this. Again, I'm not trying to tell tales out of school, but... I'm begging him in the DMs right now. Be the Ethan Ralph, the Ralph Amale we know you can be. I like Ethan. I think he is a good showman. This has been the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. Um, and that's on me. That's on me. Yeah, Ralph won. I you lost though. Enjoy the um Someone in chat said that this is a joke. Ethan promoted this. Ethan, like Ralph uh, tweeted this out on um, on Twitter to promote it. So it's definitely him. It's not like a like a meme. And there's one more interruption that I'll scream to. Apparently after this, he interrupts him again after like 10 minutes. Uh, and I'll let him say that too because I thought that was funny. I don't think this good. But the thing I asked was don't fuck. Oh, oh okay. So he's playing something... Um, I think this is a, oh, this is like a song or something, but, uh, this is like a YouTube's music channel, uh, system. So this is plugged into content ID. And when, what's his face, uh, sees that Ralph is playing this on his stream, he interrupts. That has happened to me. But... Oh, you know what? And I think this is a, this actually might be clipped. Um, like he might've used this in studio editor. Cause there is like a cut when he jumps to his voice. So I think he used the studio editor to cut out uh, this video. I don't think this good, but thing I asked was don't fucking play copyrighted shit and now that's what we're doing is playing copyrighted shit oh my god this is a disaster this is a complete disaster we got salvo coming up we got Sven stuffles coming up i expected this from a mr burgers hosted pot awful but this 
I got to get the real Minnie Manson. We got to get a real entertainer in here. We should get Minnie Manson just to come in here over top of Ethan. Hang on a second. I'm so sick. I'm dying. I'm Mr. Medicare. St Look at this. 282. We were at 500 and like 70, I think. The is. Remember the Jesse just having to sit there watching his, his viewership collapse in real time as Zanny Ralph plays clips and truffle shuffles around in his chair for two hours. At the end, I think he just cuts Ralph off and then takes calls himself and they just make fun of Ralph for like 40 minutes before ending the stream. Um, so I don't know. I found this funny. It's, it's weird. Ralph rarely goes out of his comfort zone anymore. He's always just on his stream with the, with the, the mute button on ready, like on standby. He's got, he's got his desk set up. So there's a giant punch it button to, to end the stream immediately. Uh, if anyone says anything that he doesn't like or that upsets him or whatever in any way. So it's, it's kind of interesting for the first time in a long time to see Ralph kind of venture out of the, the hovel to show up on somebody else's stream. And it was supposed to be a, like a, a boon to him. Like, come on, you know, my show and do do your thing. Get really amped up. Because uh, Ralph's numbers are very low right now, too. Um, it gets, get some fresh blood into your viewership and, you know, make a good impression on people that ordinarily wouldn't go out of their way to watch you. And, and he just does like a, he just sits there. He just sits there with like a grumpy face. This is it. You want to see you want to see Ethan Ralph's grumpy face for 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 two and a half hours. Oh, well, you got you got, here. You go. Here's the show for you. <laughs> awesome. Good job, Jesse. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.